Welcome to a new Cordo lesson of the week. Today I am basing this lesson on some chords that I've seen from Tosin Abassi of Animals as Leaders last week on social media and I was blown away at the chord choices that Tosin picked for his little clip so I thought that I could share. Just listen to it. So at first it looks so easy for Tosin to play those chords and it seems very difficult to pick those chords and know what he's doing. But if we slow it down and we really take our time to analyze what he's doing, it is not that difficult. So let's just look at the first chord shape that he's using. It is played like this and you can read it on the chord diagram here. It is this chord. So if we analyze the notes of this, chords, uh, of this chord and we uh, assume that the first note is the root, we have the root, fourth, fifth, and the flat seventh. So we could say that it is a, an extended seventh chord but suspended. But this chord heavily relies on the fact that the notes are really close together and uh, many times we are going to call this a cluster. A cluster is just playing many notes in a row from a scale and letting them ring on our chord. So in our case, the chords of Tosin rely heavily on this principle. Like this, so this is the case for the first chord. And uh, the next chord that he's using is almost the same. You just have to use your index and your pinky and you play them one fret higher while the middle fingers stay in place. So the first one is like this and the second one is like this. And it seems difficult, but when you pick up those first two shapes, you just notice that Tosin is playing the same exact shapes all over the fretboard. And the fact that this chord is suspended but doesn't want to resolve anywhere really gives to the feel that you do not have to stick to the same key or the same mode. You can just use those chords freely around the fretboard and it's just going to sound outside it a little bit but that's the effect that Tosin wanted to have. So you can take the exact chord here, but just play it one octave down. I really recommend that you start practicing it very slowly on the upper frets because this is kind of a big stretch here. Don't injure yourself, but if you are comfortable, you can start here. You can start experimenting with those chords a little bit everywhere like Tosin does. Such a big stretch. Ah. I hope you're going to play it better than me. So um, another detail about this is obviously the technique used. You have some sweep picking combined with hybrid picking with your middle finger on the, your right hand. I am nowhere near a technical player, at least not like I used to be. So if I am not very technical on the instrument and I was able to pick it up from slow to faster in under five or 10 minutes, I'm sure you could do it too. So I'm gonna do a close up of my right hand so you can see the picking pattern.
Obviously, this is just my first day trying this technique, so this could improve a lot. And like I said, I hope that you're going to play it better than me. But uh, this is a really cool technique that is a little bit outside the box that we don't use very often, that is really nice for uh, cascading chords like this, and it uh, gives a really nice effect. So to sum up this lesson, if you want to create chords that sound like Tosin a little bit, you have to completely forget on how a chord is constructed. No more stacked thirds. Try to cluster your chords. Use maybe the fourth, five, and sixth intervals at the same time on your chord or something like this. Uh, use dissonance a lot. You can use a hybrid sweep picking technique like this. And something that I haven't not have not said, but is kind of implied, you have to play in odd meters. So if we uh, analyze the meter of this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a nine eight. So it gives a lot the feeling that this is odd, not only in the key and and in the harmony chosen, but in the rhythms also. And the last point, obviously, is to take the shapes and go everywhere on the fretboard. Do not tie your riffs or the chords that you choose to a single key. It could be anywhere and, it, and it's going to add to the little modal feel. So that's it for this lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed. Um, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. I have new free guitar lessons on cool chords coming each and every week, so I don't want you to miss them. And I have here, you can click on my playlist of all my 50 plus lessons for free on YouTube, just giving back to the community. All right, so until next time, au revoir.